Welcome to Cavaletta Studios, I'm Chris. If you just went on a run, you cycled or lifted some weights, and you'd like to balance out that workout with some yoga, this class is for you. It is designed for you as a short recovery yoga class to stretch some of those tight areas, and we will begin in child's pose, so let's get started. Separate the knees, feet together. We're gonna to slide into our child's pose. Reaching the arms forward, stretching it out, and then lift enough to have space to bring your right arm under your left, slide it under, all the way lowering to that shoulder, head on the floor, wiggle those right fingers, reach that left arm way over the ear, maybe going to fingertips like tense. And just breathe here, feel that nice shoulder stretch. You might feel it in the back of the right shoulder, you might feel it in the armpit of the left arm. You're gonna bring your left arm in close to the head so we can assist you to come up. Reach your right arm way out in front of you. Turn your left palm up and slide it underneath your right arm. Reach, reach. So now you're stretching the back of that left arm, shoulder, reaching those right fingertips forward, maybe stretching the right armpit. And you're breathing. And then you're gonna bring that right hand forward, back towards the head, use it for assistance. So that left arm can come out, reach both hands forward Going to fingertips, melt those hips backwards and the belly between the thighs, and then walk both hands to the right and melt your body and hips to the left. You're getting a nice little side twist. And just breathe through it. And then when you release, I want you to come up and walk your hands to the left and shift your hips to the right, melt your head lower towards the floor. Feel that nice stretch all the way up the right side, the right armpit, the right arm, that hip, and then coming back to the center. Let's transition from the center up to tabletop, hands under the shoulders, spread out those fingers, pull the shoulders away from the ears, cat cow. So draw the belly to the spine, round to the back, draw the chin in. Nice exhale there. And then I want you to inhale, arch the back, lift the head and the tailbone, and then exhale round. And then inhale, lift and open. And exhale round. One last one. Inhale, lift. And exhale round. Then find your neutral spine. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and pull your, your left shoulder towards your left hip and your hip in too. So you're doing a sideways crunch there. Nice little stretch. And then transition to the other side, right shoulder to right hip. And then one more time, twist sideways. So you're crunching your left hip towards your left shoulder. And then one more time to the right. I want you to shift your weight backwards towards your hips so you're not as much pressure on the hands. And then drop both hips slightly to your left. Feel the stretch up that left side. And then transition and shift your hips to the right. Nice hip stretch. And then coming back through center, one more cat cow, round through the back. Nice exhale, push through the tops of your feet, and then inhale, lift the head and the tailbone. And then bringing your body back to neutral. Now we're gonna slowly shift onto one hip. 
and bring the feet in front, come to a nice tall staff pose, seated pose. Good. Now we're going to do a few things here, just adjust with what you can. You're going to hug the right knee in and then just let it fall open to the side and sit up nice and tall. Reach the arms up and then exhale, keeping the back flat, leaning your belly to the thigh, reach for the toes. Try to stay tall through the spine so you're not collapsing down. Lift and reach. If you can't reach your toes, no big deal. You can just reach your hands out. You can hold your ankle or your knee anywhere you need to. Or just let your hands rest on the floor. And just notice what you have going on. Bring both hands to the outside of the foot, the knee, the shin, wherever you are. Just reach the whole body a little closer to the outside edge of your left leg. And now you can start to curve just a little bit so you feel that stretch through the right side of the hip. And maybe those hamstrings and calf muscles. Then we're going to walk the hands up the thighs. Good. Now you're going to pull that right knee in and give it a squeeze. We're going to hug the knee with the left hand and lift and twist to the back wall over to the right. Nice little twist there. Pressing the belly into the thigh. Breathing through it, lengthening through the spine. Now when we release, we're going to come back to neutral. I'm going to take your right foot and pull it behind you. So now you're doing a nice quad stretch. Now if that does not feel comfortable on your um, on your knee, you can always lean back and just push your foot out to the side and do a little bit of a knee bend. And with that knee there, you're going to either have it out wide or you can pull the knees together and then just gently lean back. Some of you might be able to go all the way back onto your elbows and some might be able to go all the way back onto your back. Now, if you go back onto your back and your knee comes up, then you want to stay up on your elbows because you don't want your knee coming off the floor. So again, find your range of motion. Maybe this is better for you or maybe you're all the way up on your hands. So you want to just feel that nice quadricep stretch. And as long as there's no pain in the knee, that is the key there. Then we're going to come all the way up, flex that left foot, pull the right knee in again and flatten out that ankle and just press into it as you lean. Just, just get a little ankle stretch there. And then we're going to release that right leg, give the legs a shake. And then we're going to hug in that left leg and let it fall open. Sitting up nice and tall, bring that right foot flexed. Lift and twist the body towards the right leg. Reach the arms up to the sky. Breathing in and then exhale. Again, staying tall through the spine as you reach forward. And notice what's going on. Is it the back hip? Is it the hamstrings or your calf muscles and just breathe here. Never forcing things, staying tall and then bring your both hands to the outside of the knee, the ankle, wherever you can reach and then gently drift your body towards that, that outside edge of the right leg. And just give it a squeeze. Continue breathing. The toes can wiggle and the foot can flex and then walk those hands up the thigh. And then we're gonna hug in that left knee with the right hand, reach behind, nice tall seated twist. Flex that right leg, lower the shoulders and continue breathing. Inhale and exhale. And then when we're done, we're gonna release, we're coming back to center. Now bring that leg out to the side. So you're going to press it down again. Make adjustments. Maybe you need something under the knee. Maybe your foot feels better out to the side. And then you can lean on back. And one leg might be way easier than the other. Keeping the knees down. And again, same thing. The knee should not come off the floor. If it's starting to come up, you need to come higher. And then you can lower all the way back down to your back as long again as the knee is not way up off that floor. And you want it to feel good, not where you're straining to, to get, just to get that stretch out of that quad. Excellent, and then we're gonna lift ourselves up. 
We're going to release that foot, bring that ankle flat on the floor, press into it just so you can get that little, that ankle stretch. And then we're going to bring the bottoms of the feet together. Find your butterfly holding on to the ankles. Just flap your wings at your knees. Stretching out through the hips, holding on to those ankles. Let's start to draw circles with the whole upper body. Holding on to the ankles. One more circle, and then we change directions. Let's go the other way. One more circle. And then we come back to center. Excellent. Let's hug the knees in. Give them a squeeze. Sit up nice and tall. Let's have another quad stretch for you. So we're going to first shift back onto all fours. So on this one, maybe just going into child's pose is your preference, or you can just keep the feet apart. So child's pose, we'd bring the knees the, apart and the feet together. We're going to keep everything in hip alignment, but we're going to shift our bottom back between the heels this time. So it's a little more intense stretch through the knees and the quads. You can have something under your knees if you need it. Now the other option is to put a block under your bottom if your feet, if your hips don't go there. You can also separate your feet and you can lower backwards. And you can have your hands on the floor. You can have blocks behind you. You can drop to your elbows. Some of you might not even go all the way onto your back. So in my younger days, yeah, I would just drop into my back. But um, again, and it depends on the day on whether you can go all the way back or not. And if you're going all the way back, just make sure that it's not hurting your back or your hips or your knees. So. My younger days, I would just plop down. It was way easier, but you know, our bodies change. We just have to continue to adapt. So wherever you are, and then we're slowly going to come out of that and all the way back to tabletop. Good, flex your feet, tuck your toes under so you can stretch out those ankles, spread out the fingers. And then we're going to slowly shift into our down dog. And when you get into your down dog, we're going to pedal out those feet. You're going to walk the dog. Shift your hips as you move your feet. Now, option is to take your feet wide and pedal them out. Shift those hips. And then walk your feet back in together. Good. And then soften the knees, melt your hips backwards, really stretch out the hamstrings and the calf muscles. And then we're gonna just walk our feet forward, finding our forward fold. Take your time, slowly move to the front of your mat. When you get there, hold on to your wrist or your elbows and just let your body swing side to side, let your head hang heavy. And then we're gonna release the hands Place them on the shins right below the knees. Lengthen and straighten the arms and the back. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Make sure your head is, neck is lengthened. You can move your head side to side. No tension. Breathing in. And then exhale, fold. And soften the knees and then slowly rise all the way up. Inhaling. Touch the fingers. Exhale, palms to heart space. And then exhale the arms next to the body. Open up the hands. Find your mountain. Hmm. Good. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Reach the arms. Touch the fingers. Exhale. Forward fold. Good. Let's take the left leg back and find a low lunge. And just nice, gentle bend and straighten. And when you're bending and straightening that back leg, make sure your right knee stays over the ankle. And then we're going to lower the knee. If you need a blanket or anything under the knee, you can. You can untuck the toe and walk the hands up the thigh. Just feel that nice stretch through that left hip flexor. And then take that left arm and reach it all the way up. Lengthening through that whole hip. Draw the thumb to the back. Good. And then slowly bring the hands 
all the way back down. Take your time. Tuck the back toe under. I want you to slowly press up through the legs. Come all the way up. I want you to bring your arms nice and wide and turn your toes out wide. Open up the fingers. Draw them up. Find your star. Finding the body. Good. Bend the elbows. Bend the knees. Find your goddess. Feel your power. And then inhale, lengthen and straighten to star. And then exhale to goddess. One last time. Inhale, lengthen and stretch to star. And then exhale to goddess. Now you're going to take both arms and reach going all the way to the back of your mat. And find your lunge again, low lunge. And then just bend and straighten that right knee down and up. And when you're ready, lower that right knee untuck the toe and walk the hands up the thigh. Find that stretch through the right hip flexor. Reach that right arm up, thumb towards the back. Really lengthening. And then slowly bring the hands back down towards the mat. Tuck your back toe. Good. And I want you to use your strength and your power to come up and then open all the way again. This time, arms out about shoulder level. Turn your toes way out and find your plie. Open it up. Bend the elbows. Nice wide goddess. Tuck that chin, inner thigh stretch, and then lengthen and open to star. Exhale back to goddess. And then bring the palms back to center. And then twist to the front of your mat. And let's find our forward fold. Feet about hip distance apart. And just hang out here. <sighs> just breathe. Slight inhale as you half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, palms to heart space. And then open up that chest. Good. Let's take the left foot back and find your warrior two, opening things up, lengthening through the spine, reaching the arms to the front and the back. Look over those right fingertips. Now, making sure your hips are not facing the front of the mat. They're open to the side. Your right knee is over your right ankle and your knee is pulling to the right. So you're opening things up. And really push your weight into the front and back foot so you find the neutral all in your center. There's a pole going through your head, through the middle of your body to the floor. Think of yourself as like a merry-go-round horse. And then flip your right palm up and really reach back, reverse warrior. And breathe. And then we're going to take it, that arm to the front thigh, and extend the left arm over your head and just really breathe here. <sighs> Feels so good. Then come back to our warrior two. Now we're going to straighten both legs, pivot your feet so you can take your warrior two to the back of your mat. So now your left foot is facing the back of your mat, looking over your left fingertips, sinking into it. And then bring your hand, forearm to the thigh. Reach your right arm over your head and lengthen. Feel it from your toes to your fingertips. And then we're coming back to center. Relax those shoulders. Good. Straighten out both legs. Pivot back to the warrior two to the front of your mat. And then we're going to windmill it all the way back down to the mat. Step back to a plank. And then lower your knees to the floor. Walk your hands underneath. And then slowly bend your elbows as we lower to the floor. Good. Find your baby cobra. Gentle lift. And then exhale down. Excellent. Now you're going to slowly keep your right hand by your chest and reach your left arm out to the side. And then you're going to let your left side of your head come to the floor. 
pick up your right foot and bring it behind you and twist onto your left side to really stretch the chest on the left arm. And let your right shoulder relax. Feel that nice stretch. One more breath. And then you're going to bring that leg and roll down onto the belly. Good. And then you're going to bring your left hand in. I'm going to scoot to the other side of my mat. Reach your right arm out. Lower your right head, ear inside of your head to the floor. Lift your left leg and flip it back. So it's supporting you. Right leg stays straight. Flip onto your right side. Stretching out your right side of your chest, your right arm and bicep, because the right arm is reached out to your right side and you're laying on your right. And that left foot is flat. You don't want to overstretch it, so just go with what feels good. That left arm is supporting us on the floor. Relax your left shoulder. And then we're going to bring the feet back onto the mat. Roll onto your belly. Go ahead and bring the hands next to your body. I want you to slowly press up to an upward facing dog. Really lengthen, pull the shoulders away from the ears. You can be supported or unsupported on the thighs or the toes. And then slide yourself back into child's pose. Really shift your hips back, stretch and lengthen through the spine, press those palms forward, bring your forehead to the mat. And then we're coming all the way back up to tabletop. So we're going to shift to pigeon, but a different way today. So I want you to walk your hands way forward, slide your right knee to your right hand, and then pivot your right foot forward. You can use your hands if you need to, if you need assistance with a block under your right hip. And then I want you to tuck your left toes under and just start to use your left leg to inch yourself into the pigeon and shift your hips gently, rock them side to side, shift them and rock. So you can ease into that pigeon. Once you feel like you are settled into it, untuck your back toes, put the top of your left foot on the floor, and then walk your hands forward. And just breathe and you can stack your hands. You can walk them out in front of you and lower your head. Lots of options. I want you to find the variation of pigeon that feels good to you. You're feeling your right glute and hamstring stretching out. You want this to feel good. Focus on your breath, your inhale and your exhale. And then walk your hands all the way back up and open up that chest. Bring those fingertips like tense to the floor and really lengthen through the arms and the upper back, as long as you're not pinching that low back, but feeling that hip stretch. Now option here is to always reach for that back leg. Some of you might be very flexible and you can grab it easily, pulling it into the glute. You know, lots of options. Maybe you just reach your arm and get more of a chest stretch. And then we release. Good. Let's shift onto that right hip. So if you're on a block, take it out, sit on that right hip, pull that back left leg all the way in and cross it. Now you can place the foot flat or cross it over and hug that left knee, lift and twist. It's one of my favorite stretches. It feels so good. Lengthen through the spine. Feel that belly pushing into the left thigh as you breathe. Hmm, nice glute stretch because it was really lengthened behind you. Now we're going to slowly release that leg and let's go to the other side. So come back to tabletop. Take your time. Now when we get here, maybe a couple cat cows if your back still feels stiff 
Always feel free to throw things in there that feel good to you. And then once you're done with your cat cows, walk your hands forward. This time we're gonna slide the left knee to the left hand and then bring that left foot towards the right hand. Pivot it in front of that left knee, sorry, right knee. Tuck your right toes under and then just use those toes to start to inch yourself back. You're on the other side. And then shift your hips gently side to side. Sometimes it takes our bodies at time. We need to let it know, the muscles and the tissue, that it's safe to melt into our posture. So again, throw a blanket or block under your hip if you need to. And then reach that leg, untuck that back toe, and then start to walk the hands forward. So we never want to force this. We want to just feel that nice stretch through the glute and the hamstring. Let your arms lower to the floor. Maybe your head is on your fists or the floor and you can reach your arms forward again. But just give variation options to what feels good to you. Try them out. See what your body likes. And that's what yoga is about. It's a practice. And we practice different postures to feel what is working for us. And one side might be different than the other. So just accept your body and just work and understand that it is going to be different on one side than the other. And that's okay. One more breath. And then we'll walk our hands up, bring the fingertips to the floor, open it up, press into those tent fingers and lengthen. Now again, here maybe you place your left hand on the floor and you bend the back knee and you grab hold of the foot. Again, one side might be tighter than the other. You can hold on the outside of the foot and just hold it. You can bring it on the inside and pull it closer never straining or forcing anything. I'm just feeling that nice quad stretch. And then we'll release that foot and we're gonna sit on our left hip. So if you have a block, take it out and bring that right leg forward. And maybe you can't cross it, that's okay. Bring the foot flat or you can cross it over. Either one is fine. We're gonna hug that right knee into the chest with the left arm, lift and twist towards that right leg. And just breathe. I have uh, one more for you. So we're really gonna get into those hips before we go onto our backs. Good. And then we're going to release and then unwind those legs. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways to get into the next one. Let's come back to our tabletop. So like we practiced before, sending our hips back, but this time what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you cross your left knee behind the right, just like that. So you make a big X, so the knees are crossed. And then you're going to slowly walk your way backwards onto those hips. Now this is again, maybe where you need a block, you can pull your feet out so your knees are stacked and your legs are out to the side and you're sitting nice and tall, holding on to the ankles, it's a um, cow face. Let's see if I can turn this way, hence you can see. Good, and you want both butt cheeks on the floor. You're gonna sit nice and tall. So your right leg is on top, and then you're gonna take your left arm to the outside of that right knee, and bring your right arm behind you, and just sit nice and tall. And let's just close our eyes for a moment and pause. And then let your eyes flutter open and notice what you're feeling. Let go of that, the floor and the leg and just do a gentle twist the other way. And then release the arms all the way up and out. And let's find our eagle arms. And then just gently draw the arms up and down and then release them. And the opposite arm goes on top. So we're just doing both arms. Now variation of ego arms, is this, if this is very challenging, is just to place your hands on your shoulders and bring your elbows up and down. That's always an option. And then we're gonna unwind the arms. Good. 
and then I want you to slowly unwind your legs. Bring them straight out in front of you and give them a shake. And then we're going to try the other side. Good. So you're going to come all the way back up to tabletop. And if you have another way you want to get into it, that's fine. So this time the right leg is going behind the left knee. So the left will be on the top. And then you can just sit back into it. You can do the fancy twist if you'd like. And again, one side might be different than the other. So your left knee is on top. If your legs don't do that, that's okay. Just have a regular um, crossing them where you can and just try to bring one or just have one up higher and you can hold on to it. So make those adjustments and those variations. Holding on to the ankles, sitting nice and tall. So take the right arm on the outside of the left thigh. Maybe you hold on to the ankle, maybe the floor. Left hand behind you, sit nice and tall. And just try to hold that posture, focus on that breath. Maybe you close your eyes again and just breathe into it. Feel what's going on. Notice is it more challenging on this side? Is are the knees more apart? And then we'll switch sides. Just reach, twist the opposite way. So we're twisted to the right. The left hand is over the shin. Right hand behind us as a kickstand. And then we come back to center, extend the arms out to the side. Let's try our eagle arms up and down. Again, hands on the shoulders, up and down with the elbows if that's better, better for you. And then extend the arms out to the side and then the opposite arm goes on top. And then release the arms and let them rest on the floor. Slowly unwind. I'm sure you're like, gladly, gladly. Let's extend the legs out to the front and give them a shake. Sit up nice and tall, reach the arms up. Nice flat back as we reach forward to our forward fold. Lengthen through the neck, let the head move. Soften the elbows, wherever you're reaching. Maybe you hold your knees or your ankles, or your shins, whatever feels good to you. Let your head slowly Melt towards your knees, but keep your spine long. Breathing into it, feel that lengthening of the hamstrings and the, the calf muscles. And then walk your hands up the thighs. Nice and tall, bend the knees, place your feet flat, and then lower all the way onto your back. And walk your feet into your hips, reach your hands towards your heels. And now we're gonna press up into a bridge, pressing through our feet, lengthening. So when you come to a bridge, you're really trying to lengthen through the spine, not over arch, feel the stretch through those hip flexors. And then slowly lower those hips all the way down. Good, and you can bring your arms out to the side or like cactus arms, I like my palms up, just to open up the chest and walk your feet as wide as your mat and then draw your knees together, pushing your back into the mat. And then very slowly release, let everything relax and drop both knees to your right. Keeping those feet wide. Feel that nice twist, turn your head to the left. And take a big breath in, feel the expansion through that left hip, the left rib cage. Maybe you take your left arm and reach it a little higher over your knee. I mean, over your knee, over your head. And then I was gonna say, then you can take your right foot and place it over your left knee if you would like a little extra. Again, these are just options. And then we release the foot off the knee and we lower the arm back to neutral. Pull the belly in first as you Shift everything back to neutral, the head, the hips. Make sure your feet stay wide. Adjust that pelvis and then let both knees drop to your left. Let your head turn to the right. Option to reach your right arm overhead, feel that stretch. Option again, take your left foot, place it on top of the right thigh or the knee. And just breathe here. 
Inhale and exhale. And then we're going to slowly release the knee. The foot off the knee, bring the arm down to neutral. Slowly shift everything back to center. Walk the feet in. And I want you to lengthen and straighten out both legs. Bring the arms next to the body and give it a shake. Give it a wiggle with the body. Close your eyes, palms up, and just relax. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. (sighs) A nice sigh. Take a full body stretch. Reach it over your head. And then release the arms next to the body. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Your body is all ready to go, loosened up. Go ahead and drop both knees to the side and take your time rolling up all the way nice and tall to a seated position. An easy seat, relax your shoulders. Now we feel so much better, all recovered. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, palms to heart space. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.